Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you so you can be the blessing to the people the Lord has put around you today. So um, a couple days ago, I was just reminded about a time in my life about 11 years ago um, when I was pregnant with my first uh, child. And it's kind of a long story, but um, the upshot is that I had to stay Uh, confined to bed for almost the entirety of that pregnancy and I was in a lot of pain during that time and I remember um, somebody coming in and telling me that the Lord had a plan for me and I should take this time and really use it to spend time with the Lord and get to know him and 11 years later I can remember how angry I was on when this person said this to me, um, because I was just, I was angry, uh, at the Lord. Like I knew that the Lord was the one who had put me in bed and, um, and I wasn't, I just was not happy about the situation that I was in at all. I felt, um, I felt a bit abandoned by friends. Um, I felt sidelined um, because of the pregnancy and then I felt like my pregnancy wasn't like anybody else's pregnancy I mean there were a lot of feelings that went along with this but I was it it was very clear in my mind that um, the Lord was in charge of all of these things and I felt very hemmed in (laughs) by the Lord Um, in the middle of Psalm 139 which is one of my favorites and it kind of talks about God's sovereignty and it talks about how he formed us and Um, when we were still in our mother's womb and all of these things, wonderful things about how we can't flee from the Lord and we can't hide from the Lord. But right in the beginning um, is this verse and it says, you hem me in behind him before and you lay your hand upon me. And at this time in my life, anyway, I was just reminded about this time in my life and how hemmed in I felt by the Lord. Um, And there was no question in my mind that it was the Lord who was hemming me in. And, um, and restraining me. And I did not use that time wisely. I mean, I could have everybody laughing who's listening to this, telling stories about how I wasted my time reading People magazine. But regardless, I did not use the time to get to know the Lord as um, it had been suggested that I do. And, um, and I regret it. So anyway, I was just... Um, thinking today that I would encourage you if you feel hemmed in by the Lord for any reason um, and you know that it's the Lord who's hemming you in I pray that you would use this time wisely draw near to the Lord even if you're mad at him um, because he's got something for you there he's got himself there for you and if you don't feel hemmed in right now um Just remember these words because at some point in your life you will. Um, And don't do what I did, which was run away. Um, Draw near to the Lord uh, because he will draw near to you. I pray that you would remember this as you stay in or go out today and be the blessing. Till next time, Katie.